Gaining or losing weight, that is truly up to you. Now, the whole world isn't based around weight loss. And I know I talk a lot about weight loss, but if we're gaining weight and we know we're doing the wrong things and we know that we should be making changes, then gaining weight isn't what we want to achieve and as such, we are losing. And doing a lot of these belly burns, I speak to a lot of people every single day and I've been doing this for a very long time. And so what I've done in this video was I put together the difference between those that lose weight and keep it off versus those that gain weight and then keep it on. First, I'm gonna start with the negative. So those that continue to gain weight. And they're generally the ones that are very hard on themselves. And they never pick themselves back up. And they just live right then and there in their failure. So it's one of those situations where it's like, oh, I've had such a busy week. I've, you know, I had to eat carbs, I'm stress eating. And then I'm like, okay, so let's just get back on track tomorrow. And then the person would be like, I don't know, I'm just so tired and the kids are, are always just so busy and my family's coming over this weekend. I don't know if I can do it. And then it's like, yeah, you can do it. Let's just start with just, how about you just drink one liter of water tomorrow? And they're like, but one liter of water is too much. Do, do you see where I'm going with this? They just live in the failure. Another person is that they see obstacles but they see the obstacles as unbreakable barriers. So big or small, they just give up. So it's like, well, I've got this family event coming up this weekend, RJ. My family, we're big eaters. I have to eat. It's like, okay, no problem. Why don't you cut some calories the night before, cut some calories the day after, so you're not just like starving for two days, and then just have one protein shake during the day if you need it, and then you can make room for your entire meal and then we'll just cut a little bit of calories throughout the rest of the week. They're like, oh, but I don't wanna cut any calories and I just, you know, like I just wanna really enjoy myself. I wanna live a little, like this is my family. I have to eat with my family. It's like, okay, well what about if we just like the day of, you just have a small protein meal and then we just open up the rest of the evening for you to enjoy whatever you want and then on Sunday we get back on track. And then they're like, yeah, but Sundays we like to have leftovers and then, you know, like my family, they might stay on Monday. I don't know. I don't want to like get locked down to a, to, a, to doing a diet. I just want to like, I just want to enjoy this. I want like, this is my family. And it's like, all right, then there, I guess there is no answer, right? Now it's my job to overcome these obstacles and work with people until we can find that little, little keyhole that we can open up the littlest tiny door and look at the littlest tiny bit of success. And I've tried this with a lot of people and I would say eight out of 10, it works. And then there's two out of 10 that absolutely hate me, but they don't hate me when we cross the finish line and then they see that we actually got results. And then we look back at that little incident and they're like, yeah, I probably shouldn't have been so hard on you coach, but that's okay. That's what I'm here for. And the last but not least, the losing mentality is that they believe they have no time. And so they make no time. But RJ, I've got, kids swimming in the morning, and then I gotta prepare for my family dinner, and then we got the family thing, and then the next day I gotta drive my aunt to the airport, and then once I get from the airport, I gotta go pick up my dog, and so I don't have time to eat clean, and I don't have time to meal prep or, or be on my phone and use my fitness pal. It's like, well, what are you doing right now? It literally took you 20 minutes to have this full out conversation to tell me how you don't have the time when you could have taken that time to actually just plug your food into your MyFitnessPal. And so instead of looking at like, okay, well, okay, here's my problem, here's my solution. What do they look at? They look at, I've got a bigger a problem. I'm just gonna create a bigger problem by avoiding that problem. We'll deal with those problems when I get to the next problem. <laughs> and so they just make no time. So the winning mindset, the winners still fail. Like we still fall short, nobody's perfect. But the difference between the winning mindset and the losing mindset is that the winning mindset will get back up. And in fact, those people that fall short that are with the winning mindset usually make up for it and then some. So an example that I have is a girl was uh, like, she had to miss a day working out. 
And in the group, she's like, oh, I had such a busy day. And I know she's like very busy with what she does at work, which is a very sedentary, sitting a lot. And then so she put it in the group chat, no workout today. And I saw that. And so I replied and I said, you got three tomorrow, three workouts tomorrow. Now I said three workouts because she's done three workouts before, but guess what? I was kind of joking, not joking to see if she would take on the challenge. The very next day, she did three workouts. At the end of this challenge, she lost 12 pounds, right? So she missed a workout. Instead of just kind of like letting it go and uh, maybe miss another workout if like nobody cares, then we're like, hey, you know, do three tomorrow. And instead of just saying, no, I'm too busy or I got family coming over or I got to do dishes, she's like, boom, I'm done. I'm doing it. Boom. She lost the weight. Winning mindset. Now, when it comes to time management, one woman, and a lot of people always ask me, how does she get such crazy results? Because this woman is a mom. She works shift work. And then she has all the other time constraints that come with life. And that if I can issue issue her any challenge, and I've issued her multiple challenges and tasks at the same time that I know are going to bring her body to the next level, but I don't know if she's going to be able to get the time. The only response that I got from this winning mindset person is no problem. And how many do you want? It's not so much about the tasks that get her the results. It's more about the winning mindset that she has. She shuffles it in her brain, she sorts her life out, and she just gets it done. So when it comes to time management, there's not a, like, a, a trick that the rest of us have. There's people that are busier than me. It's just that we find a way to just get it done. And if you can do that, you're gonna see a lot more wins. And the last, but there's lots of more ways to have a winning mindset, is that the other day in one of my challenges, I issued out people to do 100 burpees. Now, this could literally take all day to do. It took me all day to do. And there's a group of people that I put together, issued them the 100 burpees. And instead of them all just like saying, 100 burpees, RJ? Are you crazy? I don't wanna do burpees. And they're like, okay, this is how I'm gonna get it done. I'm gonna do 10 first thing in the morning and then I'm gonna get 50 done before noon and then I'm gonna do 25 before three and then I'm gonna do my last 25 before I go to bed. Like they worked as a team to strategize on how they're going to be able to get these 100 burpees done. And this was a contributing factor. So a winning mindset is that if you're working with the team, instead of being the person that's holding the team back by saying, no, that's impossible. That's too much for me to do, RJ. They're like, okay, guys, you know, what's everybody's plan of action to getting this done? This is what I'm going to do. And let's just get it done. Like that's a winning mindset to me. And that group, that entire group lost weight. And so what does that tell you about that? Right now, weight loss isn't the only key to success because there's a ton of other success. Like, you know, I'm the same weight, but I can notice a difference if I'm transforming and dropping my body fat. I don't jump on the scale to determine that success. I could see it in the mirror. That's just the way that I work. But when it comes to these challenges and we use weight as a measuring tool, well, I'll tell you that what I just told you today is the winning mindset that you must take with you moving forward if you actually want to see change. Now, if you're looking for change, you want to get on a winning team and you want to feel good and have the right people in your corner, then get on the next belly burn if you're a member. Don't hold back. Don't hesitate. You could find the money somewhere else, okay? You can, you can save on coffee or don't go out to eat for a month or ask for it for your gift instead of a, a pen, pendant or something like that. You could figure out a way to get that money and it's gonna make the difference, but bring your winning mindset to the next belly burn. And if you're not a part of Fit Club and you wanna get involved with the belly burn, let's just get you to start working out five days for five bucks. Contact us on our website, www.fitclub.fit. Once again, www.fitclub.fit. Winning mindset.